So you've started intermittent fasting with the aim to lose weight, but a common question that many people have is, can I take vitamins and supplements during the fasting period? In this video, I'll explain which vitamins and supplements are okay to take during your fasting period and which ones should be taken with food. So first, which supplements can be taken whilst you're fasting? So some things can be taken on an empty stomach and they don't contain any calories, so they're very unlikely to break a fast. These are things such as creatine and electrolytes, so things such as potassium, sodium and calcium. Now it's important to remember that with electrolyte supplements or creatine supplements, especially if they're a drink or a pre-workout supplement, you need to check that they don't contain any sweeteners or added calories, for example sugars. If so, it's fine to take during a fast, and they can even help you manage the side effects of switching to ketosis, which is the metabolic state that your body should go into when you're in the fasting phase. Now, another supplement that is generally considered to be okay to take whilst fasting is L-tyrosine, which is usually taken on an empty stomach. L-tyrosine can help you manage stress and support your mood. It's an amino acid, but it's very unlikely to break a fast when taken in lower doses. Similarly, pre and probiotic supplements are aimed at encouraging good gut health, and good gut health benefits your entire body. Now, some probiotic supplements are meant to be taken without food when stomach acid levels are lower, but again, check your label on the probiotic supplement for the manufacturer's recommendations. Similarly, water-soluble vitamins, so things like vitamins B and C, can be taken with water during a fasting period period. Vitamin C is usually pretty easy on an empty stomach, but B-complex vitamins can make people feel nauseous when they're consumed without food. If this happens to you, just take these vitamins when you break your fast. So now we've got a better idea of which supplements can be taken during the fasting period, well which ones should you think about avoiding until you're able to eat? So the first are amino acids, so L-glutamine and branched chain amino acids or BCAAs are usually a no-go whilst fasting because they can kick you out of ketosis by raising your insulin levels. If you take omega-3 fatty acids, these are generally easy for the body to absorb when they're taken with food, so it's best to have them during your eating window. Next are fat-soluble vitamins. This category includes vitamin D, vitamin E, and multivitamins that contain fat-soluble ingredients. Now these vitamins don't dissolve with water, so it's best to take them with a meal. Fourthly, gummy vitamins. Now these vitamins are usually sweetened and made with gelatin, which contains protein all of which means you're likely to break a fast. Next, if you take magnesium, it's worth noting that some people can experience an upset stomach when they take this on an empty stomach, so again, it's best to try take this with food. Finally, protein powders. So whether we're talking about whey or pea protein, any protein powder will break a fast because it contains calories and triggers an insulin response. So again, save your protein powder for your eating window. Likewise, any meal replacement substance, so things like Huel, should not be taken during the fasting period. At this point, I'd like to stress that if you're doing an intermittent fasting diet, you should not change the timings of prescribed medications and don't stop taking these during a fasting period without speaking to your doctor first. Finally, what about things such as tea, coffee or water? So by definition, fasting means refraining from eating food. However, some experts say that as long as you keep your carbohydrate intake below 50 grams per day during a fast, you can maintain ketosis. So things like water is totally fine to drink during a fast. It doesn't contain calories and it's also really important to stay hydrated. Coffee and tea are generally considered to be fine whilst fasting, however they should be consumed without added sugar, milk or cream if possible. It's also worth noting that these drinks do contain caffeine and if taken on an empty stomach they can make you feel sick, nauseous or jittery. Now some people suggest that bone broth as a drink during the fasting period can be helpful. Now, bone broth can be a rich source of nutrients and can help replenish electrolytes that are lost during long periods of only drinking water. And although it does contain calories, it's generally thought that small amounts of these low carb, high fat, moderate protein foods won't throw your body out of ketosis. Remember, if you are thinking about intermittent fasting, it's important to weigh the risks and the benefits up against your own personal health and discuss it with a registered dietitian or your health provider before commencing it if you're uncertain that it might be suitable for you. So that brings us to the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments section and please let me know which supplements and vitamins you use and why you use them. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you've not done so already and it'd be great if you could share your experiences for other people to learn from. Until next time, thanks for watching.
and bye.